Okay, I'm going to show you how to add a uh, review on your website. If we've enabled that feature and you'd like to use it and you'd like to pull your Facebook uh, reviews and Google Plus reviews into your web page to kind of show them instead of linking to them and having them go there, you can bring them all together uh, manually. So the way you do that is, first of all, you go to your Facebook page and you click on your reviews button and you can see or your reviews that are there. You can also do that on your Google Plus page. So in this, uh, sorry, in this case, we're going to log in with the username we've given you. So let's say urgent care reviews. Um, use a login uh, password that I've given you. Okay, we log in. So the main section, the only section really going into here is the post section. And let me show you what that looks like right now. Let me review, <coughs> refresh it. So we got Brandy Hoyt, Vanessa, Vanessa Witherspoon, John Fraser. Brandy, Vanessa, John. So you can see the information on your post tab is matching what's showing up on your reviews tab, and it's also on the right here. Um, if you click directly into this, it's going to bring up an image. This is the way I kind of formatted it uh, with Vanessa Witherspoon. We had that's kind of a manual one, and you know I just kind of took a picture, added a date, added their their text. Now. How you actually get your Facebook posts, like um, Alicia Gunn down here, into your page, what you do is you click on this 16 hours ago button down at the bottom. And at the top here, you'll say hide from Alicia, report post, save, and then more options. Let's click on more options and then embed post. Um, you've already got the top section highlighted, so copy this. And we're going to add a new post over here. So let's just label this Alicia Gunn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add and click on the text button here and then right click on paste. This is the embed code uh, that we just copied from Facebook and now we're going to go over to visual to see what it looks like. Now I'd like to take uh, Vanessa's picture from here. This is 160 um, pixels wide, 160 pixels tall. You want to use that same format every time because it makes it, the pictures consistent. And you can simply click and drag this over to your desktop and it should allow you to um, create an image on your desktop. If it doesn't, like here it is right here, if it doesn't you can right click on that and then you can do save image as or save image to pictures, whatever you want. Remember where you put it. But since I've already saved it, I'm going to delete this one I just pulled down and I've taken Alicia, I've actually clicked on it once, typed her actual name onto the picture so it's easy to find later. Um, and then I'm going to add media back over here and I'm going to drop her picture directly into um, into this. Uh, I'm going to delete these last two images so we don't have duplication uh, and stuff going on. Okay, and then let's say insert into post. So there it is. When you click on the image, you can click on this button here and it's going to um, kind of uh, write justify everything uh, to the right of the picture, which is what you want. You hit publish there and then you hit update here. Uh, oh, and before we hit update, you have to make sure that patient testimonial category is um, uh, clicked, otherwise it will not show up. So now let's go back over to Urgent Care, the Skogie's website, you click on Reviews, and there's Alicia Gunn. It was written on May 21st here, but when you click on it, you'll see a picture of Alicia, the actual information from there, and then you got posted by Alicia Gunn. If you click on that, it takes you right to their Facebook page. <clears throat> and you, you know, it gives you some social media interaction there. Um, and then it actually talks about the day that it's, it's been posted. So that's really as simple as it is to do a post um, from Facebook. If you had a question, I mean, the same process as what you do on Google Plus. But you can click on all posts, and you can see right here that these are all the posts that are there. Um, if I wanted to create a new post and not have to go through the Facebook thing, I could say, John Smith, I loved your services. You were awesome. Would definitely, <laughs> how do you spell it? D E F I N I T E L I. Definitely recommend you guys to my friends. And I put a date on here. So let's say it was, uh, um, you know, um, eight, May the 25th, 2015. 
you can hit publish. Once you hit publish, you need to make sure patient testimonial is clicked on. You hit update. And then when you go back over to your review page, hit reviews there, and it'll say older entries, newer entries. Here's John Smith, and there's your review. Okay. I recommend, like I said, using uh, an image to make it more personalized. People will see that it's more real. Uh, Brandy Hoyt, I just kind of brought that picture in, and then uh, Vanessa Witherspoon is there. And then on the older entries, um, this is me, for example, putting a post when I actually used your services too. Okay, so I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions, um, drop me an email. I'm happy to respond to you guys. Thanks again. Have a great day.